Hi, in this video we will see how we can generate reports in ESP.NET using Report Viewer. So open your Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2010 but this will also work on Visual Studio 2013. So create a new website. Now select empty website template, make sure language is visible C sharp and give your website a name. I will call it reports ASP. Now, first of all, we will uh, select a data source from where uh, we will uh, take the data which we want to show in our reports. So, uh, right click on your project and select add new item. And go to uh, the data set. This also start add click yes now right click on the data set one and select table adapter Choose, choose whatever uh, data set database you want to use I will use the adventure works 2008 so uh, connection string yeah let next select next yeah select next and we will use Query Builder. We will add a table. It will be table person. Add the table person. Close it. And let us select the first name and the last name. Select top 300 first name last name from person dot person table and execute query let us check that yeah it's it's working select ok select next next no finish so now let us add a ASPX page in our project so select web form default ASPX it will work yes and add now go to your toolbox open it and uh, select uh, report viewer and drag it here now report viewer uh, requires uh, a script manager so we will add a script manager control to the page and go to the design view of our page Save your data set. Yes.
the default SPX page and here we haven't made any report yet so first of all we will go and add a report to our website so add new item and come to the report click add now let us design our report insert a page header insert a page footer in the header let us give it a name that it is header report and uh, we underline the bold let us give it a size of 22 let us give name a uh, no? say copy right yes the copyright information here it's okay here uh, now right click and insert a table select data set 1 data source is data set 1 here is our first name and last name columns last name yes delete column save it go to default SPX page on our report viewer choose the report now, now choose a data source that will be Check data source. Okay. Next on table adapter. Next. Yes, finish. It uh, should be hundred uh, percent. And height should be that as uh, six hundred PX. Click save. Now view in browser. Okay. 
you can see right here your report now you can just export your report in excel pdf or word just uh, go to the uh, pdf if we go to the pdf Thank you for watching this.